Gather round and let me tell you a story of realms long forgotten. There are tales of the Forest Kingdom, a place of honour and chivalry, known to some as the Land of the Purple Dragon, but known to all as Cormir. Hi, I'm Tilda and I'm playing Hiram, a half or paladin. Hi, my name's Carl, I'm playing Catcher Donahue, a human bard. Hi, my name is Anton and I play Balthazar, a Warforge, Cloak of Azuth. Hi, my name is Al and I'm playing Slate, a Changeling Druid. Hi, I'm Matt and I'm playing Zombo, who is a Halfling Rogue slash Warlock. And my name is Dan. I shall be the Dungeon Master on this adventure. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? <laughs> Hello DM. Hello, Hello DM. We are good and you? Yeah, I am good. It's a lovely day in... What month are we in? June? Lovely day, June. <laughs> uh, it's the end of June as well, blimey. <laughs> what is time? Um, so, I ha I've heard on the grapevine that we are here to play some Dungiones and Dargons. Uh, that is, is that the knockoff? You know, yeah. from Gory, Gory, uh, uh, Jurax. Yeah. 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 Um, cool. So, uh, yeah, last time, uh, we saw the Warhounds, uh, they were on a ship, on a boat. We were, uh, weren't we? You were on a boat. Right. Um, yeah. shall we, uh, shall we rejoin them? And no. See how yep. that, that boating is doing? Zumbo was in trouble, so let's see what he's up to. Zumbo was mm. in trouble. <laughs> yes. He was off the coast of Suzail floats a large ship named the Penitent Martyr, a prison ship feared by pirates up and down the Dragonmere for its notorious security and practices of overzealous war wizard Alaphons. Historically home to the most dangerous corsairs, the Warhounds now find themselves aboard the ship under a quest from their old guild member Magnus Cobbleson in search of Suzalean city folk, feared to be kidnapped by Sharan operatives. Perhaps more importantly, however, it is a troubling news for Balthazar's wife, Daisy, an individual who Balthazar has only recently begun to regain memories of, has also been snatched away by shadow worshippers and brought to the penitent martyr. With such high stakes on the line, the warhounds must get to the bottom of these wicked kidnappings. Despite their best efforts, our heroes have been discovered by a Roman war wizard, and the veil of stealth may slip away completely if they don't act quickly. And so, we uh, find the warhounds scattered. <clears throat> through the base uh, base of the ship um, <clears throat> yep. you have uh, discovered that there are a number of cells down here in up pitch utter pitch darkness um, with a number of Suzalean citizens incarcerated within um, after having a chat with them and uh, doing a little bit of investigating, um, you've discovered that a group of the prisoners was recently taken away. Uh, and following their directions, um, you've burst into a room seemingly roughly in the center of the ship with what appears to be a large purple runed portal um, stood opposite a number of black clothed altars. Um, inscribed with sigils of Shah. Meanwhile, uh, Zumbo, who is bringing up the rear, uh, <clears throat> has been 
<laughs> has, has just just had a door opened at the other end of the corridor to reveal a black iron skull masked war wizard who's just made a surprise noise at seeing a halfling a halfling captain loose on his ship uh, in this precise moment I would like you all to roll initiative so initiative. what was the surprise noise he made? <clears throat> it was a kind of a... <gasps> <laughs> nice. I'm pretty good at initiative. Should, should oh. roll well. I got okay. a cleric roll. Would you like the, uh, to see the opposite of that? I thought you just produced a crit on demand. That was, I was very impressed for a moment there, so <laughs> crit fail. <laughs> Hero? You know, I, th I think I can do that. <laughs> Give me just a second. Also, yeah. uh, Dan, we believe in you. normally we could just click on the combat tracker. Not this time, though. Should be able to. There we go. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, Okie dokie. So, uh, top of round. Um, Zumbo, at the opposite end of this corridor, uh, 25 feet away, you see a war wizard who's just kind of thrown the door open and it has, yeah, just made a like a shocked, angry noise um, at the sight of you. Um, you can see that uh, a number of the well, the, the prisoners that you can see have kind of like slunk away into the backs of their cells um, to cower from the encroaching war wizard. Uh, but what do you do? Okay, so um, Betty in the other room, I think she's uh, next to Emily, is because yes. she can. I can communicate with her telepathically, although yep. somebody doesn't necessarily know that. So she's going to know that something's wrong and is going to start pulling on Emily's um, tunic or whatever Emily's wearing, the bottom sure, of it, yeah. and pointing with another tentacle at the door um, that Zumbo is behind. Uh, okay. She's doing that. Meanwhile, Zumbo is going to look at the war wizard and, uh, ah, glad, glad you're here, mate. Yeah, uh, just wanted to have a bit of a word with you about the quality of these uh, these cells. And he's going to start um, <laughs> walking briskly up towards him. Okay. Uh, the <clears throat> the war wizard bristles uh, as you approach him. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, in the next room, the small orange octopus is tugging on Emily's uh, tabard uh, whilst uh, on the back of a lar large grey furred wombat. Yeah, and then when Zumbo gets kind of within striking distance, he's going to quickly pull his rapier and with the same motion kind of slash across the war wizard's face. Okay, cool, perfect. Uh, roll to hit. Oh dear. Um, Aha. Uh -huh. uh, so, with a 10 to hit, that does... <laughs> this is a natural 2. I don't think I have... Uh, don't have inspiration. At the I don't moment. think I have inspiration, no. <clears throat> okay. okay, so as you kind of approach the war wizard and with a swing, your, your rapier comes out. Um, at the same time, the war wizard also draws his sword and psh, parries the attack. Uh, and there's a twist and the two blades kind of lock in, um, kind of sliding al along each other. Um, and... Uh, from behind the mask, the, the shadowy iron mask, you hear, you will regret that. Yeah, um, regretting it already, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, the war wizard, firstly, um, like, lashes out with the sword that he's just parried you with for 12. Uh, misses. Okay. Um, so, as he kind of he slides the sword along, to, and you know you, you parry the blow away. But then, with his other his other hand comes up, and at point blank range, uh, mm. you take six damage as three magic missiles boom, boom, boom slam into you. Okay. Um, he then uh, the war wizard looks around and realizing that there are others behind you, uh, he goes to make a break for it. Uh, can I make an opportunity attack? You absolutely can. Okay. Fifteen, any better? That's a hit. 
Nice. Okay. So that's 15. Mm -hmm. And then sneak attack. Uh, so another 7. So 22. And then uh -huh. he's moving as well. So that yep. triggers. Bimbo. So you move so you can immediately do the 2d8. Ooh. Good combo. So 30. Okay, 30. Damage. 30 damage. Um, and the rest of you in the room by the portal, um, you hear the the distant sounds of shwing, 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 like sword play, and then there is a deafening <laughs> that shakes the ship. Uh, because Booming Blade is... Actually, it's not... Doesn't re doesn't uh, no. note it as being super loud. Okay, so but yeah, you feel the the floor under your feet shake as this boom goes off, um, and the war wizard. Oh, one, two, three. Yeah, I think it's the thunder wave is very noisy. Thunder wave is super noisy. Yeah, the the war wizard begins to stagger away. Okay. Um, next up, Katya, uh, you've just felt the felt the room shake. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, cool, cool. Why can't I move the door? Thank you. So as you yeah. move out into the hallway, uh, I don't know if you can. S I don't know if you'll be. Able oh, have you got your sword out? Uh, I put it away, but I can redraw that as a free action, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let me turn that back on for you. So as you draw your sword to give yourself some light. Ooh. Uh, I can't see anything. So I guess I'll just have to be like, Zumbo? Oh, also, no, we have the chat room as well, don't we? Yes, you are currently all linked. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so in, in which case, actually, just to step back, Zumbo, would you, uh, are you saying anything as a free action on the WhatsApp group? Yeah, you, you definitely have heard him saying that it need a bit of help through it. Thumbs up emoji. Thumbs up emoji so I can get to there. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to... I'm going to be useless this turn. Um, I'm going to Draw give a sending cat memes on the, on the chat. I'm going to give a... Emily prefers TikTok. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, I don't have a lot. Yeah, Katya, you could uh, could get these people out of their cells and uh, convince them to help us yeah. out a bit. If you chuck me the keys, I'll, I'll happily do that. I think I've already unlocked them all, so oh. Katya would just need to convince them to help us, I suppose. Nice. Yeah. Do a, I think do a song. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I mean, at your... Like, yeah, basically, at your, if you give us a, a perception check... Uh, sorry, a persuasion check uh, to convince them all to leave... Like the ones that can see you. That's uh, gonna be a twenty. Cool. Okay. So yeah, the uh, the three, well, the commoners in this quadrant, um, all kind of assume that the like the coast is clear. Yeah, I'm afraid to say that. I think that's that's all I can do. I don't have enough movement, anything to stop this guy, unless you know anyone can run quicker. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, anything else? No. No, I'm done. Okay, so Slate uh, sees you running out of one doorway, Katya, and uh, moves to the other side of the room to open the door on the other side. And at the far end, at the bottom of the stairs, can see a war wizard who's kind of wobbly on their feet. And, hmm, what spells have you prepared for me, L? <laughs> uh... We're gonna, boom boom. Boom boom. we're gonna do a what what this is, what is so it? so L it hurts. Um so Slate runs out into the corridor, uh looks down the corridor with the dark vision uh, switched on, and at the end, at the bottom of the stairs, this wall wizard turns around and looks at Slate from behind this black Iron Mask, and Slate just does a little <laughs> giggle, and yep. casts yep. Heat Metal. Uh, 
What's the range of it? 60 feet, that's in range. I um, would be proud. On the mask. That's horrible. <laughs> on the mask. And <laughs> the, the this black Ugh. iron mask goes red to orange to yellow to white. And there's a... It's like Zomba, you can hear the sizzling and there's a scream. Um, the guy can't take it off. Uh, so he takes eight damage as his mask begins Searing to his face. Ooh, nice. Oh, Hooray! <clears throat> cool. Um, and then, yeah, there's a <laughs> chuckle. Here, Anne, what do you do? I mean, be horrified. <laughs> first of all. Actually, where the heck I, where the heck I am? Um, In the room. So you're you're at the the top edge. Ugh. Yeah, you can see Slate, um, just kind of out the doorway. Like looking down the corridor, uh, basically the way you came. Okay. Because oh, a bit far away, guys. Yeah. It's a bit far away, but I'm not <laughs> hasted. Huh. However, hold well on. What's the range on that one? Huh? Maybe I am going to step outside to see what, like, what is going on. And do I see uh, uh, so the as you go out the, the north entrance, um, you can see Katya and then Zumbo in the corridor ahead of you, um, but you can't see anyone else. But you can, I think, you can see all the way through to the like the. the in a book commas booking area where you found the lit the names like the list of names of the prisoners aboard. I think I'm just going to shout out to Zumba. Zumba, what's going on? We we got ourselves a runner here, Am. Where? It just gesture kind of passed him into the room as if he's uh put you know, back back the way we came. He's heading up the stairs to get his mates, I reckon. Okay, I'm going to dash in that case. I'm walking on. Okay, so that was 15, two, 35, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50 60. Cool. Can't uh, do anything else, though. No, so through the doorway, you can just about make out uh, a war wizard in the next room. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, sure enough, at the bottom of the stairs. Action? Yes. I can't. Can I do a bonus action? Yeah. Or because I dashed. Oh, that's an action. To dash. Okay. And I can see the the guy. Uh, just about. Just about. Just about. Excellent. I'm going to try something that's probably not going to work that great, but... You know. What the hell? Oh. I would like to command... What will it be? Okay. Nice. And I want oh, to say, on. drop. No, no, no not drop. Uh, hold, it hold. Action, right? It's an action. <clears throat> uh, yeah, command is an action, unfortunately. Oh, it's... God damn it. Thanks, that's a really nice idea. Well, you yeah. know you know what I'm doing next time if he's still there. Sure. Yep. Uh, okay. I was, uh, that was actually going to be my plan, but I realised I wouldn't be able to do it in... in in all the turn. Uh, okay, so uh, anything else here, Ram? Mm -mm. Okay, in which case, uh, <laughs> in the corridor, there's a, ah! <laughs> oh no! Uh, and Balthazar, you watch as Balthazar the Wombat kind of runs in and hides behind one of the altars. Mm -hmm. uh, Emma, like uh, Betty just flapping. Uh, as she's stuck <gasps> stuck to his hind. Hello. Sorry. I do actually have a bonus action I can do. And it might yeah. help. Yeah. Can I rest on that? Can you keep the me? Thank you. It's you still have this thing, so I need you to roll really low. Double checking. Oh, your bonus action. Yes, you are. Compelled you all. Oh! Oh! oh. Nice. Okay. Um, as you, okay, so in which case, yeah, as you emerge uh, out the corridor in front of Zombo, you draw a gentus, point it at this war wizard, and 
come on, come on. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Natural one. Natural one. Okay, so. Uh, must my give us Clearly, answer. this is meant to happen. So, must my good. Give us... Okay. Good um, in which case, yeah, no, absolutely. The. It's exactly 30 feet. Uh, so, the, the war wizard uh, just kind of stops and tries to keep going, but just keeps on like turning to, to look at you with this bright red glowing mask. And, like, oh, that you looks can see painful. Smoke, smoke coming out from under the hood. Uh, nice. Very nice. Okay, so back into the, the prime timeline. Balthazar nah! hides behind the altar. Uh, Emily. Hmm. So Emily is aware that there is a little octopus trying to get her attention. Yes. And she will interpret this as... I'll tell you what. Is, is Betty still next to her on top of the... uh, Balthaz So basically, Betty was tugging on the tunic and then Balthazar panicked. Uh, Balthazar the wombat panicked and then like ran Betty away. Um, I'm just going to ask for i'm gonna roll this for you okay so you could interpret betty's instructions off the back of a 15 animal handling okay so what i think uh, oh. emily would think mm -hmm. is that like oh you want to be near zombo so as Balthazar is running emily is going to pluck betty off of this back right <laughs> and put her um Put Betty on one of her bolts uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> at the end of the room. Okay. Um, roll to uh, hit. This, this is exactly what I expected. Yeah, <laughs> I always knew somebody would die this way. So, <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen. Okay, that's fine. So you grab Betty, and Betty just kind of goes limp in your hands, and like their eyes boggle. And then, as Emily pulls out this bolt and just blip, like plonks <laughs> Betty on the end of the the bolt um but mean, betty's facing the forward end. that's betty's where the pointy forward. part is yeah. but you just uh, see the uh, eyes <laughs> kind of turn around to look at you backwards <laughs> as you doom, pull the trigger um zumbo you hear a boom, <laughs> boom, and like oh just over hiram's shoulder this vault flies and you see betty <laughs> like hit the hit the front of the ship just like hanging from this bolt and then she <laughs> And kind of flops off. Uh, she probably hits, a, hits the doorway, actually. So, yes. Betty is now with you, Zumbo. Oh. Imagine it, cheers, Emily. Emily was like, Call my Betty. <laughs> 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 Fly, you fool. <laughs> uh, okay. So, anything else, Emily? No. Okay. Uh, draw. Uh, off, off, off. Bork, bork, bork. <laughs> Joel is going to not be able to leave the doorway. That's 20. And... Hi, Sam. Oh, I've lost track. So Joel goes 40 feet. So that's 20. So we can go another 20. Yeah. Uh, and then he's going to dash through. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, Draw runs through, uh, guided by the glowing mask, actually. Yeah, I suppose this guy would be glowing ever so slightly. Uh, let's give him a five foot, five foot dim, shall we? Uh, five foot bright. He's on fire. Oh. <laughs> Five foot, not fifty foot. There we go. Right, so yeah, the guy's guy's glowing, so you can see him in the dark. Uh, with a, a sprint, anything else, Drool? No, that's all Drool can do. Dr okay. Drool. That's all Drool can do. Marvellous. Okay, last one, not least, Balthazar. Uh, Balthazar will hit up the chat room and go, hey, you guys got this? And then, yeah, they got this. And he'll um, approach the portal... Mm -hmm. And do an arcana check to see what up. Okay. He still has detect magic on. Sure, sure, sure. Um, what is it you're trying to ascertain off the back of your? Uh, what type of portal and where would it lead? Like, sure. will it go on the same plane? Will it go on a different plane? Roll me an arcana. Is it evil? 
Uh, arcana attributes. Oh. Normal. Eleven. Can okay. I guidance that? Very attractively. If you so wish. Yeah, I probably would use that. Okay. Twelve! Off a twelve. Uh, yeah. Okay, so off the back of a twelve. Your detect magic is showing that it is very much a teleportation circle spell. Uh, so it's, it's like a big teleport spell. Um, so off the back of your arcana, you can't see the destination, but yeah. you know it is planar in nature. Right. Okay. It's going far. All right. Uh, that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, in which case, top of round. Boom. Zumbo. You can hear Aah! from around the corner uh, as a guy's face melts. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll pluck Betty off the floor. Mm -hmm. Stick her on my hat. Uh, and then... Uh, oh, he's me around. And uh, just edge round. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, can't be... Can I can I follow the smell of burning war yeah. wizard? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. 10, 15, 20, okay. 25. So I can see presumably the war wizard is kind of heading towards Hiram or something like that. Uh, so the, the war wizard has staggered, um, but the, like, between you and it, well, next to you is the bottom of the staircase up to the main deck where you know all those Draven Marauders are. Okay. Um, can I attempt to grapple him? You I want to kind of like wrestle him to the ground, stop him running up the stairs. You may, absolutely. Okay. Uh, so that's an athletics, is it? Contested athletics? Is uh, that how it works? Yep. Yeah. So he, you roll athletics and I will roll athletics. Why not? Okay. So you got a bit of 12. Oh, okay. So, Zumbo, you come barreling through the room and you dive and yeah, like wrap your arms around this <laughs> wizard's legs and he just, oh, oh, <laughs> um, through the, the heat haze in front of his eyes. Yeah, he can't manage to shake you. So he's grappled, his speed has dropped down to zero. Uh, anything okay. else with your bonus action? Yeah, I'm going to dash and try and drag him back towards here. I'm Okay, so you can go 10 when you're yeah. dragging. So he'll... Oh! <laughs> like, get, him, get him! Get him quick! <laughs> as you grab a leg and you just... <laughs> and like, yeah, lug him to, back towards Hiram. Um, the war wizard uh, looks panicked, uh, immediately takes uh, 2d8 fire damage, takes another 7 as he struggles to get his mask off. Uh, and in actual fact, he will probably just spend an action trying to get the mask off. Uh, nice. Uh, he'll succeed at doing that. So, yeah, he removes the mask uh, and it clatters to the ground and tss, like burns a scorch mark into the, the wooden deck. Um, he uses action, so he's still grappled. Uh, Katya! Uh, catcher will step out. Mm hmm. Uh, see the guy dumping his, his thing down. Mm hmm. Uh, and I think what we'll do is let's do a mind sliver. Mm. Mind sliver? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, he will take a intelligence save. He will fail. <laughs> he will. He will take. Ah, six psychic damage. Okay, six psychic. Uh, and he takes a one d four on any uh, on his next saving throw. Cool. Okay, next time next save. Remind me if I forget. Uh, anything else, Katya? Uh, and as a bonus action, she will give Hiram a Bardic Inspiration. Bardic okay. Inspiration. 
Okie dokie. Uh, Bardic inspiration for him. Uh, right, so, um, slate. Just whistle nonchalantly. Hello! Hello! Says slate as they pass between all the prisoners in this, uh, this section of the ship. Don't, don't mind me, the dog's with us. Like, kind of dashes off. Um, and kind of looks around and, ooh. Kind of makes makes a face at this mask, which is now starting to rapidly cool on the on the ground, uh, and will just kind of like draws the sickle um, from their belt and just kind of twirls it nonchalantly, just just waiting, waiting to pounce. Uh, speaking of waiting to pounce, here am. What do you do? I assume I'm going to pounce. Hey! Okay, so I'm gonna move closer. Yeah. Uh -huh. And before I do, yes, it's gonna be—it's it's such a dumb question, but how evil does the guy look? And does he look like he's doing this because he wants to, or because he's brainwashed? Uh. Roll for CV. Yeah. <laughs> uh, roll me. Wait, what's your... What's I mean, your honestly, for, at, at first glance, I don't care that much. It's just... Sure. <laughs> I am supposed to be a paladin. I should care a bit, at least. Sure. I mean, between the prisoners down here that are clearly not prisoners, uh, the pirates upstairs acting as, like, an ablative patrol guard, you've seen that there's a, 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 a an evil-looking portal... Um, I think I think we can make some quick conclusions. Okay but... then, stab to the throat. One second. Nice. Cha -cha. And because he is known advantage. Uh huh. Uh oh, sorry, he's not prone, but. Uh, well, I, it's a either hits, way. either hits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, so you strike for once with Argentus and. Then a twenty-one for thirteen. Uh huh. Um, so you swing, you like thrust at him, and he kind of dives out the way. You catch the side of his neck, and like crimson spurts out as you slice through the side of this wizard's hood. Um, the second attack, he tries to parry, but the the blow knocks his sword into him, and he ah kind of cuts into himself. Uh, and he kind of drops to one knee. He doesn't look great. Okay. I take that. Uh, uh, anything else here, Ram? No, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, in which case, next up, uh, hiding in a room behind you, Balthazar, you hear, They've all left me! Ah! Uh, did, Emily. When did Balthazar become Moz uh, from the IT crowd? Always was. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> uh, right. Perfect. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Emily. What does Emily do? Emily oh, hi, feels hi, a bit hi, left out. And she's actually going to join the Balthazars. Okay. Uh, there's a <laughs> there's a panic squeaking um, yeah. from the, the corner she's, of the room. I think she's actually going to nod to Big Balthazar and say, I shall be go. I'm sure they got this. Uh, wait a bit. Wait a bit, Emily. Right, uh, I still wish. <laughs> uh, in which case, next up is Drool. Uh, Drool will step up. Jewel will fight. That is a hit. Finish it. <laughs> For ten piercing. Ten Boy. damage. Uh, okay, so Jewel, as as Jewel jumps into the room, um, like the the war wizard turns around, is like Jewel like grab grabs onto his arm, and in the flailing, um, the war wizard is dragged across the floor and onto the tip of a spear on the weapon rack on the opposite wall. Um, and as the wall wizard <laughs> takes 10 damage, the wizard is dead. So, oh as that as that happens, as Draw just kind of uh, like happily pants, uh, tongue lolling, um, what do you all do? I imagine Jewel dragged Zombo along with him, with the War Wizard. <laughs> Probably still wrapped around his 
So he'll get up and push himself down. Well, I reckon we handled that pretty well. Stealth. Stealth mission still on, team. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Balthazar will go get Balthazar and pick him up in his arm. Hey, he'll be okay. Sure, sure, sure. Um, uh, are Drew, you all... Drew gives Zumbo one of those friendly dog head butts, you know, the ones which just like <laughs> really wants attention. <laughs> just like yeah. slams his head into your body and it's just like... Um, yeah, so are, you, are you all uh, reconvening in the room with the Balthazars? Shall we unlock yeah. these cages down here first? And then yeah, with the good, good idea. Balthazars. Yeah. Okay, um, okay. so you can spend a few minutes uh, if you're going through unlocking all the cages. Um, whoever's... Who's who's doing the unlocking? And Catch has got the keys, so... Okay. Uh, in which well, case... she's the face of the operation, so... No worries. So I'll pull everyone else uh, back to the main room while Katie does that. Um, and, like, yeah, as, as you go through, uh, the, the people inside um, are clearly kind of scared like scared and nervous um you know they kind of ask is the coast clear um and so on and so forth uh some of them recognize you as one of the warhounds um and uh, you you notice kind of relief and uh happy like not, would you be happy in a place like this? But yeah, certainly, certainly relief across their faces as you begin to let them out. Um, as you, so are you just doing the full circuit, Katya? Yes, I imagine so. Cool. So I'll unlock these doors that you would have unlocked on your way. Um, as you go round uh, the ship, then um, you notice that it. Oh my! You know, there are four quarters. Um, you know, people in each quarter. Um, you get to the what seems to be the bow of the ship. You can hear the sounds of. Um, actually, could you? You know at this point that there are people above your head, um, but you notice that you can't hear them. Almost as if it's mm -hmm. soundproofed or, or somewhat. Um, what you also notice is that you see another staircase to your uh, right, which leads up. So you assume that this is another uh, another entrance back to the, well, another way back to is, the deck. Is it a lockable door? Uh, it is a, a iron bar um, gate similar to the one at the on the staircase you came down on. Uh, and jangling, you you know, Excellent. you realize I'll, I'll you come have come back to that in a second. Sure. Uh, and then we'll as you finish finish your your rounds, you find the last five prisoners. Um, in the northwest corner, and then you're back to where you started. Cool. Yeah, you you managed to do the rounds. Um, at the you notice on the other staircase going up that you found, um, there was light and there was light f coming down it. Um, so you suspect that that leads to the yeah the, well, the back area of the ship where you know people were okay. frolicking and gallivanting. So it does lead up into that room or just onto the deck? Because if it leads up into that room, Cash is going to break the lock. Uh, run me a quick history check. History, where are you? There you are. Twenty-two. Um, you don't remember seeing a staircase down on the open deck, so you would assume, and judging by the the, the layout of the ship, that that would lead into like the back rooms, the rooms at the the, the back of the ship. With with the other people, so catch you all. Let everyone know. Say, so, well, just I have one more quick thing to deal with. All the cells are unlocked, but just just going to make sure we're not followed. Okay. Uh, and she'll she'll go um, back back to that one, put the lock in it, uh, and basically put one of the keys in and just clunk. Okay. Cool. Okay. So in which case, or that... I could use my thieves' tools. What that. Uh, but you're you're jamming the lock on. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. So that yes. gate is now locked. Um, in which case, yeah, you have now all reconvened um, back in the portal room. Um, Balthazar, you find Balthazar um, warily kind of holding Emily back, who seems very eager to jump through this portal. Um, but, so yeah. there's a 
big chance the portal goes to another dimension or another plane. Yeah, what what are the chances that uh, any plane these lot would want to go to is somewhere we want to go to? Unlikely. But I think they must have taken some prisoners down there, right? Well, your wife isn't here and we're pretty sure she was taken, right? Yeah. I think she might be through there as well, as I, I haven't seen her on my round. It might be. I think we're going to have to go through. Or maybe I could go through and then send a message. I reckon we all stick what together, lad. Okay. No saying what's down there, but we're heroes, right? But we gotta go. All right. Yeah. I mean, he's Here we got go. That right. Okay. So as you as you stare at this uh, this portal, um, the portal itself is uh, th there's a what appears to be like a large round stone platform uh, upon which there are you know glowing purple runes etched into the stonework. There are two pillars that rise up uh, and with um, you know topped with kind of well detailed with leering. Uh, anguished looking faces um, and between these two pillars um, it looks like this fluttering smoky curtain um, even though it is flanked by two braziers um, you notice that the light does not appear to penetrate the this like smoky curtain from behind um, uh, you also both. notice that on the altars at the other side of the room, uh, like one of the altars that uh, Balthazar, the wombat, is hiding behind, there are dried blood stains on the floor of the ship. Um, Balthazar will have stepped through the portal now. Okay. Picking Anyone up else? Balthazar, the wombat, by the way. Uh, Balthazar squeaks out of your attempts to squeak out of your grip, and uh, I'll um. I'll just wait here and uh, keep keep a keep a lookout. Kind of nods emphatically. Uh, sure, but if the boat sinks, you're not getting back. Well, I think you'll find the wombats are proficient swimmers. Okay. Uh, it's, it's okay, Balthazar. We can leave you here all by yourself in this creepy prison ship. That's fine. We'll leave you here all by yourself. Um, the, the wombat kind of looks to you and, like, its top lip kind of <laughs> kind of falls up, <laughs> bearing its top teeth. Um, and, like, Balthazar kind of waddles out, and oh, it's fine, I've, I've got this valiant champion here to protect me, he says, uh, sidling up to draw, uh, and presumably draw leaves. Um, <laughs> I imagine, I, I imagine draw sort of turns around and sort of, like... Like, you know, as dogs and do clamp onto the sort of like squidgy part of an animal's neck and picks up Balthazar. <laughs> You're taking the one back through the portal then, yes? We are indeed, I think. Okay. We're taking if, the one If the animals the can talk, Jewel's gonna be like, oh no, you're coming with me. Uh okay. There are treats on the other side. Yes, we're going together. Yes, you and me. Best friends. I will hug uh -huh. you and pet you and call you George. <laughs> okay, so um, as you go through, who is doing what with light sources? Uh, I've got I'll, light on my stuff. I'll keep so my moon swords out just in so case. You're casting light. Because if we're going to a dimension of Sha, it's best to have the light of her uh, yeah. most hated enemy. Probably going to be pretty dingy, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so as you... So, Balthazar, you step through the portal first. Um, as you as say, it, it almost looks like this fabric of kind of smoky curtain. But as your as your form touches it, it parts around you like the surface of oil. Mm. Um, and you feel this chill as you move through it. Um, as you all follow in kind, you emerge into a room that looks very similar to the one you just left. Um, behind you, the the curtain now looks more like a rippling miasma of purple energy 
there are uh, a number again of flames in the corner of the room but these burn with a, a sickly purple light you find yourself stood on a a, a sodden damp dirty looking grey rug a uh, black rug on, underfoot um, and in front of you is a another stone altar this one topped with a visage of a cloaked and hooded woman um, looking around the I say it looks like the, the room you were just in but inf- afflicted with decay like it's grown old the the wood f- plankings underfoot um, creak uh, they're starting to kind of rot and there's, there's small holes in them um, just looks more decrepit than where you, okay. you originally came from. Um, to either side of you, there are two doors. Um, any ideas which one we should take first? Left or right? Left? Uh, yeah. Uh, here, you want to go? Or check with that? Sure. I do I have the tail end of the take magic still on, Dan? Uh, on? The, the, I think it would have gone by now. Okay, with, sure. With Katia doing her rounds, yeah. So, here, Em, you approach the door to everyone's left. Um, yeah. And as you all kind of look to each other, um, you can hear the occasional kind of squeaks and complaints from the, the wombat uh, in your, your number. Uh, as he hangs from Jewel's mouth. Um, yeah. As you open the door. As you open the door, ah. you again find what appears to be a dark reflection of where you came from. It looks like the ship. It looks like prison cells. Uh, unlike on the ship itself, on the Penitent Martyr, you notice that there are people in these two cells here. Uh, But as you look to them, and as Balthazar steps out and Balthazar's light follows you, you realize that there is something very, very wrong with the people in the cells. Uh Uh-oh. 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 Oh, bad. Two bad. figures lift their heads slowly to look at you. Their faces, what you assume to be their faces, utterly devoid of emotion. The man in the cell to your right uh, is topless. Uh, there are patches of hair left on his on the top of his head, but in lieu of a nose, a mouth. There are a number of what appear to be tentacles that are growing from patches on his skin. You can see that his skin is beginning to discolor. And instead of the the, you know, the light Caucasian um, that this man clearly was originally, some of it is turning a sickly grey, purple, almost fish-like. Uh, the woman in the cell on your left doesn't look much better Uh, she doesn't have uh, tentacles sprouting from her face but her mouth has transformed into a circle with teeth lining the inside Um, and she looks to you from two wet glistening eyes that remind you immediately of Betty's oh dude what the fuck Uh, Um, not good and Balthazar, for you to look at them, Zumbo as well, well, Balthazar specifically, to look at them, they look like mind flayers. Yeah. Um, any of you who are interested may roll me a... Oh, arcana check? Yeah, why not? 
I will do. Oh, the zombie. Uh, I will guidance myself on the check as well. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Not good. <laughs> we don't know anything um, about magic. Wouldn't, wouldn't eight. Slate try? No, no. no slate slate eight. I slate got one. Slumber got four. So we got high scores eight. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. So you're none of as the as a group of you look at these two in their cells. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is a that's an amazing, tried, man. that's I an tried. amazing spread. Four, okay, you know one, what? for eight, that, eight and six. I yes. am going to roll for Emily too because she's a minus one and it's just going to be hilarious. Uh huh. This is going to be a crit though. Okay. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> no, but she rolls higher than Hiram. Wait, can Zul can uh, Drool do it as well, please? <laughs> so as you as the six of you kind of look at these poor poor people. <laughs> You don't know what is happening to them, <laughs> but you know it doesn't look great. Um, the yeah. fact that, unlike the panicking prisoners on the other side of the portal, these two just look nonplussed. They're not sort of straining against the chains to get to us. They're not being sort of hostile no. or anything. So, so the two of them are on their knees, their arms up kind of chains to the, the walls behind them, but they just there. They don't seem to it's almost like they don't mind being here. It's See, almost Emily, like they don't care. Why... See Emily, this is why I should moisturize every day. <laughs> so as the two as the six of you look at the two of them, you notice that there are also two more doors, one to the left, one to the right. What do you do? Uh, left again? Yeah, I mean, do you reckon we could split into two groups? It feels like it would be a bit quicker. And we're not going to go too far apart, so we can always Plus shout for help if we need to. Yeah, well, yeah. What if there are two monsters, one in each room? Well, it's still two or three of us for one of them, so I reckon we can take them. What if it's one of the big ones, you remember? Like on the ship? Uh, I'll let you deal with that member, so. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Right, go and open I, the door, yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm with Zombo on this one. If if we want to find your wife before this happens to her. Yeah, I don't like it here. make this fast. Okay. Uh, so I'll pull Katia and Slate out into the corridor. Um, so who's going in which direction? I'll go left with Balthazar this way. Okay. Emily will go with Hiram. Uh, Balthazar will go with Balthazar. Jewel will go... Yeah. Okay, so we've got two teams of four. Nice. Okay, so as the two teams of four kind of go in their separate directions, um, you find areas uh, in the next kind of rooms, again, almost identical to what you found on the ship, but wrong. There's something not right about it. And as you, as you move through in the cells, again, you find more people on their knees, arms up, manacled to chains that attach to the walls behind them, and they are all in various states of transformation. Um, they all look at you with the same dead eyes, um, and they they seemingly don't care for your presence. Um, you, the further you go, you notice that. That the, sh the you know the walls around you seem to groan and creak almost as if it almost sounds like a warning to you uh, and as you go you can see what appear to be kind of they look at first glance like roots which appear to just be kind of creeping along the floors creeping up the walls like mold um but for any of you Balthazar as you get to your door uh, and peer a bit closer at the roots the roots on the floor there's a unnerving slimy sheen to them Ooh. uh dan can i rick on slide d well yeah. let's go back there i'd like to cast aid yes and i'll cast it twice because i feel like this place ain't good sure uh, i'll cast it at fifth level mm -hmm. and i'll cast it again at fourth level 
Okay. So, uh, so on two different groups. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys choose if you want 20 or 15 hit points. So I think uh, Hiram, you want 15? Yeah, 15 uh, for me for sure. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, 20 for Hiram. I'll grab a 20 as well. Okay. So there's one more 20. Who wants it? I'm, I'm happy to just take 15 because I've got quite high HP. Okay. Uh, Balthazar will yeah. take the 20. No, no. Catch it in half 20 then. Cool. Slate 15, Zumbo 15, and Emily 15. Actually, here I'm 15, Emily 20 because I have higher HP than her. Okay. Happy days. Cool. Okay. So yeah, before you go then, you will you cast the spells to, to give yourselves a bit more. Uh, Let's get you've all still got 13 temp HP as well. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. And that's temp, yeah. not max, right? Yeah, so they work together. They work fine. Uh, yeah, so right. this is 20, 20 max hit points. Yeah. That's right. Correct. Okay, very nice. And do we get healed up to that as well? or? Holy shit. Uh, yeah. No, it, yeah, so it just everything moves up 20. Okay. For eight hours. All right, we're, okay. I'm a beefy boy now. i got like 100 plus HP. Let's go. Okay, cool. Um... So you find yourselves going in different directions. You both find yourself. You find between the two groups. You find yourselves at doorways, um, and who's going to open their door first? Here, Amor or Balthazar? Um, uh, I think Balthazar will need some convincing. Should, should okay. I open it? Uh, Ever? Yeah. Um, hang on a minute, and I'll just I'll think in the group chat. As I'm looking at these poor souls, do you reckon we can do anything for them? Or, I mean, if they're turning, really are turning into those things, probably ought, ought to destroy this place, right? I mean, I'm not going to lie. At this point, we saw them mercy kill, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I still got those alchemist fires that uh, Katya was given. Uh, that's not a good way to go, though. No, I know, but I don't really want to go in the cage here. Okay, well, why don't we look around first? And if not, I have a goddamn crossbow. We can just shoot them. Yeah, yeah alright. Uh, let's, let's explore a bit more. And then deal with it. Uh, okay, open door. Okay. Um, so, uh, Balthazar, you open the door and it looks, yeah, it looks like the back of the ship that you were just on. There are there are weapon racks again, but these are the, the racks themselves are broken. Uh, the the weapons rusted, and the, the you know the, the shafts and the handles kind of ruined through neglect. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just describe that in the group chat and wait for Hiram's team to report team what they see. Yeah. Uh, so team Hiram, as you open your door uh, and slowly edge out. The room looks like a dark mirror of the stairway up that you just stopped the war wizard in. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, again, there well, there are there are crates to your to your right, and there's something foul smelling emanating from inside the crates. Um, dotted around there are also kind of piles of rope, but worryingly every time you kind of look at it it's you can't tell if, if the rope's moving or not like a snake but like if you prod it with your foot it just moves it just prods with your foot um yeah oh. uh, and so to your left uh, you see another doorway which you believe if you know, going by everything else you've seen, uh, would lead to the booking room, quote unquote. Uh, but you also see the iron bar gates to upstairs. Okay, I think first the booking room. Mm -hmm. uh, do I actually hear anything, any movement from here? So all you can hear is, well, okay. So you take a moment to to listen. You hear the creaking of the ship, which just, it seems to, it seems much more reverberant. Um, but as you 
focus a little bit, it, you feel like you can hear anguished cries, like, please. Um, but they don't seem to be coming from anywhere in particular. They're just around. And as you hear it, you have to close your eyes as a chill runs from the top of your neck down to the base of your spine. Uh. Just like that, yeah. Yeah, mm. okay. Uh, okay, I think we're going to open another door. Okay. Let's go. And very similar to the first one, it's just the edge of the ship. So as you walk in, uh, Slate kind of stops and looks at the, the iron gate, the iron bar gate here, and ooh, the, the the steps go up, they say. Uh, okay, maybe let's check out this level first and then go up. Okay. Um, Balthazar will just kind of jump on top of Slate's shoulder. Um, so Balthazar the Wombat, that is. <laughs> Whoop. Is the, um, is the Iron Gate locked? Uh, you, it's closed. You're not sure if it's locked. Okay. Can I uh, go and try it? Just see if it's... Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Uh, so, the, the gate itself has one of those kind of sliding metal bars to unlock it. Um, and as you kind of grab it, there's resistance, but then there's a... <coughs> and it slides open. Um, you find it odd that even though this is, yeah, this like dark reflection of a prison ship, um, but it's just unlocked. Yeah, which is kind of surprising, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll hear what Balthazar says about exploring this level first, so I'll just gently put it closed again and sure. Okay. Follow him. Like Team you or Team Hiram? Uh, team Hiram. Well, we are inside the booking room. Mm hmm. Do, we, do I see anything? So, um, in so here, like on the, you see like a table that again is kind of broken. One of the legs has been snapped off. Um, there are there. Where is in on the on the penitent martyr? There was a book, like a ledger. Um, here you just see parchments scattered around on the floor um the the writing on them which you assume might be names of some sort are just utterly illegible but what you notice is that there seem to be a lot of parchments on the floor can i pick up one of them mm -hmm. Uh, so, as you pick up one of them and you bring it up, like, it's effectively the written version of gibberish. Like, like someone's just scratched a name, like, like they were trying to carve their name into a, into a wooden plank, for example. Um, but, looking at it, you realise, like, the world around you seems distinctly almost, almost like monochrome. But you can just about pick out hints of scarlet, like dry red brown tones in the scratches on this parchment paper. Um, and although you can't read it, in your mind you start to picture a face. And if you focus, try to focus on the face, you can't make out any real discernible facial features all you can make out is a look of horror um catcher will pick up one of the the parchments yeah uh and run her fingers over the the scrawlings mm -hmm. to see if she can comprehend language as you are you spending 10 minutes? Uh, no, I'll, sp I'll spend the spell slot. Okay. So you cast Comprehend Languages, and as you hold the paper uh, and look at it, you wait for 
like the lines to begin rearranging. Horrifyingly, they don't. These just look like... The only thing you comprehend is that these are the final scrawlings of someone driven insane. A final imprint, if you will. I think Hiram is going to say in the chat... Uh, team, I think we are going upstairs. As you say that, Balthazar. Uh, yep. We'll at the back of the ship. Opening the doors. Uh -huh. Continue forward. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, as you make your way into the next, uh, next room, uh, again you find more cells uh, with another three prisoners shackled up um, in various yeah. states of distress. A transformation. Uh, Shall we move on? Yeah. Go ahead then. Yeah. A final door. Well, sorry, yeah. another door, I should say. Should I open that door? Oh, it's good, I think. Okay. Speed. Okay. You find prisoners, a... Prisoners, prisoners. You see yet another prisoner. Um, this one, you notice, uh, has two large bulbous protrusions emerging from the side of his... The, the back half of his, like the back of his head um, and they seem to be pulsing like gills oh yeah I'm not sure what we can do for them nah uh, shall I proceed on to the next door I guess would we know by now that we've kind of come full circle and that we're looking at the, yeah yeah, yeah. that much is clear so then, so shall we meet up with the others then, and then decide which door we're gonna go up with? Sure. Well, as you open the final door, uh, I'm just gonna step in and say, Katya opened the door at the far side, and the warhounds you ah, have. Oh. Ah. Okay, that's just you. <laughs> uh, you've reconvened, um, to... and sort of like behind I'm Balthazar. Sorry, Balthazar. Do I have tentacles hanging from my face? Uh, you were just a bit scary. Um, it's all right. Yeah, from behind Balthazar, uh, Katya, here I am, you here. I don't... What happened to these people? They don't look well. <laughs> um, a bad thing. Um, as that... As Balthazar the Wombat says that, um, and Balthazar, you responds to him, you hear a like a low groan come from the uh the cell to to your you be it'll be your left and you see a woman who looks up to you and you notice that her arms have elongated to about one and a half times their normal length um and like her her head is beginning you can see the back of her head is starting to elongate out um and she but she looks up to you with a mouth that's half human half squid like and she looks to you with one pleading eye help us Dan, if we kill these people, do we become the Lich King? Is that how it works? <laughs> she she kind of looks to you and sort of like the, her chains jangles. She suddenly has more kind of energy about her and she tries to kind of surge forward to, to meet you, but she can only go a few inches. But she looks to you with this bloodshot eye. Help, help us. I feel it feel it in my head Katya looks to everyone is like do we want to know more of what has happened here yeah and maybe ask her if she's seen anyone about my height you know see if we can find out where Balthazar's uh, lady friend's being held Katya gestures Balthazar to, to step out of the way yeah but it's up and she sort of stands before the cage 
-hmm. and she will attempt to mind walk. Ooh, that's terrifying. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Uh, So, DC 17 wisdom. Okay, so Katya, as you look and sort of like you steady yourselves on the the bars behind you, um, you feel yourself kind of lurching forward into the mind of this poor, poor woman. And your world goes dim as you lurch forward, and then as your world comes back, you see yourself like propped up on the bars in front of you. Um, but there seems to be, like the vision is blurred like there's a, a layer of moisture or slime over your eye um and what do you want to do delve delve into the memories okay um as you as you dive into the memories um you flick through and you you chance like the the memories seem distorted and jumbled um you find yourself uh in a in a small quaint little kitchen uh the evening sun streaming through a windows you, you prepare a meal you see uh a beautiful dress um on a market stall like in your hands and you run your hand across the fabric and then put it back because it would be too expensive to have. You uh, you see two war wizards ahead of you that kind of approach with, in, with kind of curious looks on their face um, as you kind of you ask them for, for help, but you can't remember what for. You remember those same faces dragging you into a prison cell and then through a portal. You remember being taken up onto the deck of a ship. You remember seeing a black tumultuous sky overhead and what looks, what should be clouds almost look like screaming faces. And then the last thing you see is a horrific silhouette illuminated in this pinkish glow take the back of your head in one hand and place its palm with the other hand on the front of your face and then darkness and at this moment you Katya get the feeling you are not alone excellent Can I search around for that, please? Search around. I mean, out of character knowledge, obviously, yes, I'm I'm very aware that mind flayers are usually part of a hive mind. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, in character, no no idea. But if there's suddenly other voices popping up in this woman's head, I think Catch's curiosity is going to get the better of her that she tries to look for that other voice as you well as you look around uh, as you kind of go searching um katya i'm gonna need you to make me a wisdom save please gladly yeah i'm close by isn't he yeah I am, but that's a plus three. I don't think that's enough. As you... Okay, so, Katya, as you kind of go around looking through this woman's mind and you almost yourself start to feel a bit more kind of panicked and claustrophobic, like the walls are closing in on you, but as you're kind of sifting through these memories, trying to look, what you begin to notice, like, in the corners of your periphery, just, just out of sight, is... A creature. There's something here with you, and it seems to be getting closer. And as you jump from memory to memory, the memories start seeming wrong. 
you can see you assume this is your your partner but the your your partner has ten, small feeler tentacles rippling like protruding from the corners of his mouth um you look at the you look at the 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 meal that you've created and it's this wrinkled pink flesh almost brain like uh you you're walking the the family dog but it appears to be this large tadpole like creature and the creature the the tadpole stops and turns to look at you and katia you feel like it can see you and as it rears up and its tentacles start to flicker angrily and it begins to lunge at you, you manage to, with Hiram's help, avoid the creature as you move into another memory. But it appears to be bearing down on you with increasing speed. Uh, uh, I guess what Cash will do is quickly jump across to the person on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so uh, uh, divert her uh, mind walking. Okay. So as you jump across to the uh, the prisoner on the other side, um, you see the, the back. You see your back against the bars. Does the back of my head really look like that? Uh... As you wonder that, and you kind of go to kind of explore this man's mind, you realize there's nothing left. Okay. You're in a vast, empty expanse. But what you do sense is someone watching you. And as you kind of look around to see what's happening, in, you feel in your mind a curious probing. What do we have here? An unexpected passenger. Have you come to join the collective? Have you come to embrace me? I don't even know who you are. Why don't uh, you show yourself and... Uh, Katya, I now need a charisma save. DC 18. How's a 22 for you? <laughs> okay. You feel the this vast, empty expanse of this man's mind suddenly seem like it's <laughs> closing in on you. Like it's folding in to, to trap you. Um, and as you sort of like panic, you are forced to burst out of this man's mind back into your own body. But as you go in the distance, um, illuminated by this sick, sickly purple light, you see what appears to be a large tentacled brain. Uh. Flanked by a number of piercing, piercing eyes from tall, black, slimy skinned creatures that look very similar to the creature you saw on the Nautilid. Okay. And as you move back into your own body and you know you feel like your your mind is free, you hear what you can only describe as a slow laugh in your mind. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, Katya, if, if you know what, you look a bit pasty. There's something here. Something very, very powerful. Uh, DM Dan, as the only person who approached the tadpole pit, if I'm not mistaken, on the um, Nautilus ship before setting it on fire, mm -hmm. could I do a history check on the tadpole creature I saw in the woman's mind? To put uh, two and two no together. need. No need? No need. You immediately put two and two together. Okay. I, th I think they're becoming mind flares. I mean, uh, the been... tentacles are kind of a giveaway, aren't they? They're infected by something, I think. It, when I was in, and she just just laid the, the woman, it's like, when I was in her mind, there was another presence, and as she points back to the other guy, but it wasn't there in his mind. Instead, it seemed like his mind was... All the minds? Like... For a second, yeah. I felt like I, I could feel all of them. Well, if it's a, if it's an infection, do, do you reckon my amulet might do something? It's been, uh, <clears throat> well, pretty handy so far for quite a I, wide variety of different infections. I think this might be too far gone. This might be once you're already scratching, kind of bad. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, do you reckon there is anything we can do for him, or...? She shakes her head. I, I, I don't think so. I think they're... They might be too far gone. Maybe, as she drops gestures the woman, like, maybe her? There's still some semblance of her in there, but... And she, she basically looks at her, it's like, she'll be treated like the spell scarred were. Like, she, she won't ever have a normal life again. At this point, I think Hiram is going to walk up to the, the cell where the lady is. Mm -hmm. And kneel down and say... Ah, I don't think we can help you become what you were before. But at least we can make sure that you don't turn into anything monstrous. As you say that, the the woman kind of looks up to you and like her one good eye quivers and you see a tear form in the corner of her eye. But as she goes, before it has a chance to build up enough to run down her cheek, you watch as the look of fear on her face, like she twinges. And then all expression of emotion leaves her face. She just looks at you impassively. And you watch as the tear in the corner of her eye just kind of absorbs into the slime that coats it. I think something might be right about the alchemist's fire. Yeah, let's, let's find Balthazar's wife and then let's, let's burn this place to hell. Yeah. These these poor people won't even notice. Look how far gone they are. Okay. Yeah. As you say this, you all hear a scream from upstairs. From above oh. you. Oh. Great. Oh, let's go. Time to go. Oh, quick. There's a there's a scream and you can hear a a woman's voice scream shout, "No! No, no! No, no, no! No!" Um, and there's clattering and like footsteps overhead. Yeah, that's what this place was missing, screaming. <laughs> now, where's okay, the... people, let's go. Is it where Hiram is? The, the... Yeah, yep. go up. Okay. So, uh, are, you all, are you all dashing up the same way? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, I'll bring Slate and Balthazar okay. with you. So, <clears throat> uh, as you will gather, people, you may head up as you wish. Uh, yeah, I think here I'm Balti Boy first. Oh dear, we're on the top. Let's make some space. Can you, can you bring up? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great. 
You're meant to see this, Dan? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, as you come up oh, the wow. top of the stairs, uh, as you kind of come round, you find yourselves in a room with what appears to be oh, no. a number of coffins uh, and slate with Balthazar on their shoulder just kind of peers over and boom, boom, boom. Um, and, yeah, just kind of has a look around. Uh, where is Hiram? Where's Hiram gone? Don't know. Uh, Hiram's had enough. Yeah, <laughs> Hiram's called it a day. I'm here, yeah, behind. There we go. Ah, okay, there you are. Right, so yeah, as you all... Out of... As you all come up... Question? Um, yes, answer. Do we... Do we want to start the alchemist fire here? Because I'm not going to lie, I am having some uh, Curse of Strahd flashbacks with the coffins. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to be able to get back to the portal first, so... Do you think, Dan, that someone with Thieves tools could wire up an alchemist fire to go on... To, you know, to not go off immediately, but could we make some sort of trap to... So we could, if we run past, we can just like pull a cord and. Uh, yeah, it'll take a few minutes to rig that up. Um, you can, but as an aside, not that I'm pressuring you or anything, but there is screaming coming from the other side of the door. The yeah, okay, probably, probably don't want to do that now then. Okay, Balthazar will open the door. Okay. So, Balthazar, as you throw the door open, you find yourself looking at what appears to be the main deck of the Penitent Martyr, but not. Again, wrong. There's something wrong with it. Immediately in front of you, you see a number of man-sized, like person-sized cages um, that uh, a number of kind of commoners, you know, Suzalem folk by the looks of it, are currently caged in. Um, as you look to your right, you can see a number of individuals um, with similar uh, kind of iron masks um, to the war wizard that you saw on the other side, but these two look decidedly more Sharon. Right. Um, to like off to the very far uh, right, you can also see another individual again with a matching mask, uh, but this one. Um, the, the, uh, this individual, uh, you can see that this they don't have a hood on, and you can see the sickly pale skin um, right. behind the mask. Um, and you notice that one of these kind of robed individuals um, has got a woman by the ha hair on the back of her head and is pushing her forward, and they've just kind of stopped and looked up to you. Um, the deck itself is illuminated with um, kind of glowing purple braziers, um, and you can see a sickly glow, pink glow, uh, in front of the woman. Hey, what do leave you? her alone. Uh, the two figures look to one another, uh, and then they turn to look to the unhooded um, third at the back. Uh, what's everyone else doing? In this instance, I think if Balthazar is shouting, we probably well, I'd certainly rush out to join him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in which case, as you all rush out to join Balthazar and kind of come onto the like rush onto the deck, um, Balthazar, as you kind of step forward and look around, like your eyes are drawn to the pink glow to your right, and chained up, like hanging on chains. Um, from the front mast of the ship, only sort of like five feet away from the woman, you you don't breathe, but you feel like you stop to take a breath. As hanging from some chains is something that looks like you, but only the top half only the top torso. Their arms hang loosely, 
in the in the kind of the chest in the torso cavity there appears to be a large glowing pink orb um that it's kind of cradling with its arms like a like a pregnant mother and as you look at it this hulking figure who's a, you know, about a, one and a half times your size turns to look at you and its eyes blaze as it sees you um everyone else as you emerge out you can see that overhead there's this kind of rolling cloud like rolling rolling dark clouds overhead but in lieu of clouds the, the clouds seem to be forming kind of ghastly ghoulish faces as it drifts along um to the sides ba zumba you can see behind you over the over the banister of this ship you can see what looks to be this dark it looks like a sea of slime it doesn't look right but you can also see flitting shapes of what look like people or faces swimming through the surface um at a push you would almost say that the sea is filled with souls that are all being drawn by some unearthly current uh and as this all happens the two figures look to you they look to one another and everyone roll me initiative ah, there you go come on slightly better a nine and a six slate balthazar okay Ooh, i don't like that so as this happens, um, two figures, one of which has this kind of woman pinned down, um, well, they both kind of extend their hands and blades of darkness emerge from their hands uh, as they, they turn to look to you. Um, and like f hanging from their necks, you see circular, like circular pendants, which you recognize to be amulets of Shah. Um, yep. The... The, the figure behind them, uh, the hoodless figure behind them, um, kind of drops into a, a fighting pose. And um, the the creature that's chained up that looks like you, Balthazar, kind of lets out this low rumble. Um, you hear a high-pitched scream from overhead. Um, and as you... Or if you chance to uh, look up, you notice that the shapes and the faces moving in the clouds overhead appear to have noticed your presence. And if I just good. direct your attention to this area here, um, you notice that the shapes in the clouds are beginning to move towards you. And you reckon that they'll be here in approximately... 30 seconds far right <laughs> um hey. as what appears to be uh like a swarm of shadowy shapes begins descending from the skies above towards the ship that you're on um so with all of that in mind let's grab a 10 minute break oh, oh, Ooh. Ass hat. Okay. see right. you in a bit <laughs> Yeah. Hello, here I'm Silver Sword here. For every one of you who likes and subscribes, we can donate towards the Emily Fund. This will help us buy her better armor, put her through the academy, and pay for bail if and when needed. Please think of Emily. Like, subscribe. <coughs> Please. Welcome back, everybody. You have made it. Yeah. You are on the deck of a twisted, dark reflection of the Penitent Martyr. Um, and there's some weird stuff going on up here. Um, so, yes, so. let us let us uh, jump straight into it. So we've already rolled initiative. Um, just to reset the scene real quickly, um, there are a number of Black Iron Masked figures in front of you uh, there appears to be a dark twisted reflection about the top half of a dark twisted reflection of balthazar hanging from one of the masts um, there are commoners in a number of cages across the deck 
Um, the there are these weird slimy roots growing uh, growing out of the the, the masts and the uh, the deck of the ship at various locations. Um, there are shadowy amorphous shapes flying screaming down from the skies towards you and they seem to yeah they're, they're going to be here at some point in the near future um and for those of you who are more perspective off to the s north the north side of the ship just off in the distance you can see what appears to be some building some shape and like those of you who kind of know where you are, it would almost be the dark reflection of Suzale. There appears to be a large tower and there's a sickly pinkish glow emanating from it. And Katya, you feel like your mind is being drawn to it. Like a Ooh. voice is emanating from that tower. Okay. But in the here and now, uh, Zumbo, top of turn, what do you do? Yeah, so first question, do the commoners in the cages, are they mutated as well? They are not. So, yeah, the, the screaming red-haired woman held uh, by this dark justice here um, looks like she's kind of scrabbling to do everything she can to not be dragged towards this twisted parody of Balthazar strung up from the mast. Okay, so um, Zombo's wanting to be sort of stealthy and get himself to here. Hopefully people are looking at Balthazar who's just shouted. And I'm gonna try and get past, sneak the other side of the cage and get to here. Can I use bone stack and hide and try and Absol do that stealthily? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, roll me yourself. Okay. So, uh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, so yeah, if you move it and then I'll figure out if anyone would have noticed you. No, oh, I about. can't move my token either, sorry. Uh, try down here. Uh, okay. Cool. Um, cool. So, yeah, I'll go to there. Am I undetected? Uh, everyone seems to be looking at Balthazar at the moment, yes. Okay, so I'm going to pluck off Betty off my head and kind of rubber on my coat trying to generate some some static and then squinting I'm just gonna point her at the at the war wizard. Cross my fingers. Uh what you mean this strap in front of you, yeah? Yes. Um basically I'm gonna cast lightning bolt in a line oh, that's gonna boy. catch all three of those war wizards and oh. hopefully avoid the red headed lady. Yeah. I think it only get two uh, it's quite nah, a wide it, line so yeah, you'll hit all three. Okay, so uh, the the one, so the, the uh, dark justice here closest to you fails. Nice. Uh, the one holding the woman fails, and the dark moon master at the far end fails nice okay so yeah this oh, bolt of lightning oh. leaps leaps out of betty and strikes them for 27 lightning damage 27 oh we were bam okay so this bolt <laughs> kind of ripples across the ship scorching the the wooden decking as it goes um and it oh, like the three the three figures um kind of let out cries of pain as the lightning arcs between them uh and the dark justice oh. here uh <laughs> That's cool. The Dark Justice here, uh, uh, kind of like in a recoil, drops this woman at his feet. Nice. Um, uh, at, but, at her feet, sorry. That's my turn. Okie dokie. Um, so, Katya, as there's a big lightning explosion from Zumbo, what do you do? Uh, Katya raises her hand up into the air uh, and it starts shimmering around with this sort of translucent force. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this space right here, He's going to cast Big B's hand. Okay. Or in this case, catch his hand. Catch his hand! Yep. Okay. Uh, cool. So, as as it appears, mm -hmm. uh, it sort of just, just appears above the Justicar, and they're just 
comes comes on down with a uh, a clenched fist. Okay. So I need to do a melee spell attack. Mm-hmm. So twenty. Yeah. Uh, twenty to hit is a hit. So he takes nineteen force damage as this <laughs> brilliant was... as this fist just comes landing on on top of his head, and it's the this one here. I'm on there. Okay, cool. So, uh, <laughs> for all excessive purposes, this icon here will be your fist <laughs> for today. Um, cool. Oh, so he takes nineteen damage um, as this. Yeah, telekinetic force just <clears throat> slams down, uh, slams down on her, um, kind of knocks her to the ground. Uh, anything else, Katya? No, that is both my action and my bonus action. Okay, so uh, said uh, Judicia kind of rolls out the way. Well, is knocks back um, and kind of curses, and the figure. Uh, steps forward and kind of dodges under the hand because I believe I can move through it and doesn't fill its space, yes. Um, and clambers up onto the cages and from above strikes down at you. Uh, so, I'm going to do a multi attack and. Uh, Katya, 20 to hit. Uh, yes, but I will attempt a cutting word. Mm-hmm. Uh, which gives me a d10. Actually, that's not even going to help. I well, know I might do if I roll a 10. Well, you don't have Ooh. 10 at EC, right? No, I have 13. Uh, that actually helps. So, so that actually okay. helps. Okay, so as you... Yeah, the, so this blade of darkness kind of swings at you, and you manage to <clears throat> kind of hold it back with your telekinetic power. Um, the Judicia kind of like shakes with rage um, as she then uh, swings a second time, eighteen to hit. That is a hit, yes. And it's a wrathful smite. So. Um, wisps of shadow energy drawing from the environment around uh, you take 10 psychic damage from the blade uh, and I need you to make a um, wisdom save please uh, as you take a further 2 psychic damage as well so 12 psychic damage in total and a wisdom save please and you'll get plus 3 for here rounding nearby okay. 14 okay so that is just enough <laughs> So, uh, thanks to Hiram's presence, you manage to kind of shake off the... that You feel this fear begin to creep into your mind, um, but you manage to kind of push it away. Um, I will, however, require a concentration check. Uh, even if it just took off temporary? I don't know if you do take them for losing temporary. Yeah, in which... Yeah. No, I'm happy with that. Cool. Okay, so as you... Uh, yeah, you kind of steal yourself against the attack uh, and you suffer n- no more... Kind of ill will from it. Um, whilst this is all happening, um, a figure on the top deck um, curiously peers across the deck to find out what on earth is happening. And seeing you all gathered, Aiden Elberth, Aiden Elberth's face twists into a snarl. And um, he growls and sort of like he's he's got something in his hand, um, like like on the on the ground that you that can't be seen. Um, but yeah, he kind of growls and no, no, not now. He he kind of barks and he will he will hold an action. Uh, next up, um, the. Dark Moon Master, so the unhooded figure at the back with the pale skin, um, sees you, Balthazar, and they spring forward. They spring forward, and as they go, um, you see their hands take on this kind of dark hue. 
and they lunge at you. Uh, and I believe that's just going to be a miss with a roll of a 16. It's, it's metal. Okay. Um, yeah, and that is... That's it. So, yeah, the hand kind of grabs for you and the, the fingers just kind of oh, kind of slide on your metal, but then the figure kind of drops back. Um, the figure then will, uh, as a bonus action, hide. Uh, so... <laughs> that's all of you. Um, so you just watch as this figure like punches at Balthazar and then just <laughs> fundamentally turns invisible as it becomes one of the shadows. Uh, Slate, next, uh, looks around like oh no's a couple of times. Um, takes one look at the cage, the cages that these commoners are in and has an idea. Um, looks to, to you, Hiram, and... <laughs> And says, I've never tried this before. Okay. Uh, oh, Good luck. Be some form of elemental, isn't it? The shackles, the cut, the bracelets on Slate's wrists begin to glow, and you watch as Slate's form just kind of begins to waver and shimmer um, until they all but disappear. But then the shackle, the the collar, the bracelets begin to form metal plates around Slate's form, and you watch as they turn into some sort of air elemental. Or oh, air. Mm. This flail, this spiked flail appears in their hands, um, and they kind of levitate up a few feet uh, to be the same height as the uh, Justicia who hit you, Katya, and uh, with. A single, like, the, the flail begins to spin uh, as, as Slate swings it, and uh, the <laughs> lightning starts to crackle from the spike tips, and they attack, swing at the Justicia for one of those. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Slate kind of channels all this... Uh, kinetic lightning into the flail and as they go to swing they kind of bring their arm back and the flail boom embeds into the the side of the ship behind you <laughs> and you just see this air in a little <laughs> um mm. <laughs> cool beautiful here i am <laughs> what do you do hopefully better than that <laughs> uh i am going to step to the side Mm -hmm. And we have a justice, uh, a justic thing. How do you say it? Justicia. Ju Just uh, justicia. Uh, justicia. Justicia. Sounds like it should be a fancy face. Justy cars. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to hit this guy in the face. Sure, sure, sure. Do it. Let's, you know, thin the numbers. So yeah, the justice here looks as usual. So this is um, like it's difficult to tell precisely, but it's just enough uh, to belie the fact that there's a woman under all of this charanness. Uh, unfortunately for her, that is a hit. Mm. I was going to say like, what do you mean? Unfortunately, but uh, that... okay, that one doesn't uh, hit. I still have a bardic inspiration. I haven't spent. Okay, so she t well she takes twelve damage from your first attack as you kind of swing up with uh, Argentus, um, uh, and a D eight, ten, ten, D ten, fancy. Oh, so that'll 18. do it. Okay, yeah. and the second blow connects as well. Nine. However, oh, yeah. with the second one, I am going to cast a divine smite. Yeah. For seven, so um, eight damage. Okay, so the first attack, um, like, catches the just uh, just Justicia um, off guard and kind of rocks her backwards. Um, as she kind of falls to one knee on top of this cage, you bring Argentus up a second time and... <laughs> her head parts from her shoulders. Awesome. Um, splattering the poor commoner in the cage underneath her with crimson. Oh, sorry! Uh, anything else here, Ram? No. No. Oh. Okie dokie. Uh, Emily! Emily is going to stand over here. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, um, can can Emily see a way to open a way to these guys? Uh, so they look like they're just kind of key key locked. Okay, um, so Emily is going to walk up to the uh, the, the guy who just died, mm -hmm. and he's going to loot him. Her. Okay, loot her. Loot her. Uh, in which case, yeah, on her belt you see a number of you see like a, a key ring. Yep. Okay, go 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 go. And did you want to unlock the first one? Yes, please. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so this guy is now free. Anything else, Emily? Nope. Okay. Uh, next up is so from behind the mast, an actual war wizard pounces out, and seeing this large telekinetic force. Uh, so fourth level, uh, DC. What well, uh, big bees is level five, right? Level five. Uh, let's, DC let's fifteen check. check. DC 15 check. He's an intelligence. Oh, sad. So, unfortunately, yeah, the war wizard steps out and <clears throat> shuts down the, the spell. See, that's not interesting to our audience. <laughs> well, it is interesting they want, to They a... wanted to see a swole arm swatting war wizards all over uh -huh. the place. If you agree, comment down below. And you know who didn't want to see that? This guy. <laughs> uh, so I had your shore already as well. He's gonna <laughs> grab him, take him to the sea, and start dunking him in the water. Uh, I mean, you can you know, do you just. Crack I can't. He just he just just spell slots gone. That's it. That was my last like fifth level. I'm saying use your arms. Right, right. Uh, right, Balthazar, what do? Uh, I will do bless at third level. Which will be everyone in the party plus slate. Everyone in the party plus slate. One, two, three, but, four, five. So no, no Emily, no, uh, no draw. So it's so it's uh, Hiram, Katya, Zumbo, Slate, and myself. Five people total. Level three spell. Cool. So you are all blessed. Blessed. Okay. Uh, anything else, Balthazar? Yeah, one, as two, you do that, as you sure. step forward um, from the shadows, a f hand comes out of the shadows and misses you, Balthazar, even with the uh, advantage for stealth and the Dark Moon Master <laughs> kind of appears from the shadows. Stealth right next to me, Dan. Who's in the shadows, yeah? Wait, what do you mean? My shadow? <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, does that count as one? I think that counts as one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I can get here. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. That's my turn. Okie dokie. Uh, draw. Uh, bonus action, Shilady. Okay, cool. Uh, draw is going to one, two. Jeff Bell can stand there, can't I? The air elementals are yeah. taking up the, yeah, the uh, space. Yeah, slate's 10 foot up. Uh, as the... Uh, Dark Moon Masters focus on Balthazar. Draw's gonna come up and om nom nom for nineteen. That is a hit. Uh, uh, the 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 individual tries to kind of stealth, well, agilely get out of the way, but just about fails. He takes thirteen damage. Oof. And he makes straight save. Fails. He <laughs> fails, and then as he hits the floor, Draw rears his head up, and then suddenly, woof. As he, as he casts, here we go. Six force damage. As so, as this bull, this translucent bull, materializes around the front of Drool, and it knocks him. Uh, so the dark moon monster ah! skids across the floor five feet. Uh, and that's Drool's turn. Okay. Um, the other Judicia looks around in a bit of a panic and. What's he going to do? Seeing Balthazar kind of sprinting for one of the other cages, um, he turns and uh. fires two bolts of shadow at you. Uh, the first one hits and does sure. seven psychic. Uh, the second one misses. 
the judiciary. Okay, so make a constitution check as well. Okay. Uh, do temporary or exist or max hit points go first? Temporary goes first. Temporary. Temporary. Goes first, yeah. Um, so yeah, the Judicia then just kind of backs off and kind of draws out uh, a shadow blade. Um, Balthazar the wombat. Oh no! And dodges. Four, <laughs> five, fire! <laughs> God. Uh, dodge. Okay. Uh, uh, at the top of round, um, Zumbo, as you look up, you can see the shapes getting ever closer. So we can see Aiden, uh, Elberth. Is he? Does he look like he's doing something to summon the shadows, or are they just coming because they can see us? So from where from where you are, um, you can see that Aiden is yeah stood up, stood up at the back of the ship. Um, he's not. He doesn't look like he's casting a spell, but it does look like he's got something in his hands. Okay. All right. Um, however, Zumbo has spotted this little gap in the railing behind that wall wizard. Um, and so he's going to lob some Eldritch Blast at him, try and knock him off the ship. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 okay, yeah. I need yeah. both to hit, because he's more than 10 feet away from the... Uh, so let's give that a go. Okay, 18 for the first one. Yeah, yeah. That's a hit. Okay. So, um... 11 force damage for that one. Oh, oh, uh, so 11 force damage and knock 10 uh, feet back. One, two, okay. The war wizard oh, is staggered back as the, the, the kind of eldritch water strikes him, and then we'll try it again. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, all awesome. right, uh, nine force damage for that one as this happens you see the war wizard like staggers back realizes what's about to happen and like as the second bolt comes in brings up a shield defiantly and then the bolt just pierces straight through um and you hear a as the wizard is knocked 10 feet and there's a uh, as the wizard hits the water awesome okay um so that's my action. Uh, bonus action. I'm wondering whether you could make a dash for L, but um, Aiden, do you guys look like you've got this? Yeah. Got this covered, you're the, do you reckon? You're the, you're the captain now. All right. Okay. Um, I think you, you guys have got it. All right. I'm going to dash then. So. Right. Uh, so the stairs are just here. Uh, yeah. 40, 45. I've already moved five, so that's... I can get to the base of the stairs, and I'll just point my rapier up towards Aiden and go, Oi, you! I'd like a word with you. Um, as you, So you say that, and uh, like Aiden looks down, he's still kind of wearing this scowl on his face, and... I should have known that the Warhounds would come to save the day. Uh, he... Kind of gloats. Uh, anything else, Sunbo? No, that's me. Thanks. Okay. Catcher. Uh, Catcher rocks back as the telekinetic energies dissipate from her hand, uh, and then she sort of like focuses on something else and puts her hand on the back of Hiram. Yes. Uh, Cue the music. Speedy choo choo, chop chop, death. <laughs> Ooh. Get him, Hiram. No. Oh, I, am re I am renaming Hiram to that. <laughs> here on the pain train okay so uh, here am begins to vibrate uncontrollably as the <laughs> the haste kicks in uh catch her anything else yeah 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 uh oh, so how, how many have i done one to there one to there uh i was gonna give a Sorry, uh, how far? 60 feet. How far away is Zumbo? 65. So, plonk plonk. Mm -hmm. And then... 
Nice. There we go. Bardic inspiration for uh, Zumbo. Bardic inspiration on Zumbo. Thank okay. You, uh, let me tag that up for you. Beautiful. Uh, anything else, Katya? No, that'll be all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next up is Mr. Elberth himself. And looking at you, Zumbo, as you run up, yeah, he finishes his gloat and, uh, yeah, all hounds save the day. Um, and then you see him kind of bring up his one empty hand and he holds it, like, holds the palm towards you and then just kind of clicks. Uh, can I have a wisdom save, please? Yes, you can. Okay, so. Twice in a row now, Matt. Ooh! Okay, so yeah, you feel your your limbs begin to kind of feel more sluggish and heavy, but you yeah, manage to push through, and um, yeah, your your legs still work. Uh, Aiden curses and one, two, begins moving away. Um, you see that he appears to be dragging something, uh, and then. Uh, so uh, as that happens, uh, everyone else kind of down on the on the main deck. Um, so Drawl has just kind of knocked this pale skinned uh, Dark Moon Master like across the deck. Um, as the master kind of uh, sh shakes their head and kind of looks around to see what's happening, they realize where they are, and there's a panicked look as the master looks up to this black armored Balthazar torso that's hanging up. And the torso jangles on its chains and then lunges forward with one one hand and then the other. It grabs the, the, the master and kind of round the by the head and kind of lifts the, the master up and you hear the master, no, 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 not me, not me, no, 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 no. Uh, the master takes nine damage. Um, and you watch as this torso brings a hand up, palm first. Um, and uh, Katya and Hiram, from where you're stood, you can just about make out what appears to be a small circular hole open up in the palm. And you can see the orb uh, in the torso of this torso begin to glow brighter. And like, as you... At this distance, you can also see there's things in this globe, in its torso. Um, but yeah, the master is now kind of hoiked up, uh, kind of five foot off the ground. Uh, no, 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 no! Grappled by Project Implacable. Uh, the master attempts to break free. Because hell... No. Uh, unfortunately, as he struggles and tries to release the grasp of the of the, the construct that's got him, he just can't manage to to escape. Um, Slate just kind of uh, retrieves the flail from the side of the ship, looks around to see if anyone notices. Is confident no one did, uh, and will then fly. Over to this Judicia and uh, go to swing. Doesn't work. So we'll just decides that uh, a quantity over quality is perhaps the the better option. And so we'll make three, three attacks. one, two, three attacks on the Judicia uh, hits. All three times for 10, 18, 27 damage in total. Um, and you just watch as this Judicia oh, oh, just takes three heavy flail blows to the top of the head. Um, and like Slate turns round and you know, based off the body language, that they're trying to say something to you. But they're an air elemental, so they can't really, <laughs> can't really talk right now. Here I am, what do? Well, I mean, I'm hasted. Yes. So I probably should go do some, do some damage. Which I think I'm going to do in... Hmm. 
So I'm just tr trying to see who is close enough that I can actually do something. I think I'm going to start heading this way first. So that's 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. Yeah, I see you're going off from flat. So first, I'm going to hit this guy. Mm hmm. For 14. Bless. And I'm blessed. Bless. Okay. Maybe. So, um, yeah, the, the the Judicia goes to dodge out the way, but the divine energy coursing through from Balthazar manages to get the blow on target. Excellent. So that's uh, 12 damage plus. Mm. Plus. He looks very bad. Let's do this. Plus 8 radiant damage. So for a total of 20. Huh. Uh, okay, so as you run along uh, with Argentus Low, you step in, you bring the sword up, you catch him on the inside of the thigh, um, and the blow <laughs> cuts right up through his torso, killing him. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's move on. So that was 30 so far. 35, 40, and where is everyone? Uh, so. <laughs> oh wait, now I'm supposed to be going upstairs. Hold on, hold on. No, okay, I'm going yeah, towards. Yeah. I am going towards Zombo. Sure, 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 sure. Because clearly you need a company. Put him off the other side here, Am. Hmm. Put him off the other side. Oh, cool. So I think that's how okay. far I can go at the moment. So here I am, yeah, you can see that there is a second staircase <gasps> on the north side I'm of the I'm an ship. idiot. I could have done this so much better. Yeah? Next turn, though. Next turn. Next though. turn. Okay. Uh, next up is Emily. Emily is going to move on to the next uh, okay. prisoner. And start. And <laughs> the might. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So that's those two free. So tell you what, they will just kind of ah, run for cover. Uh, anything else, Emily? No. Okay. Um, well, I mean, you'll have enough movement to move on to the next one, I reckon. So. Yes, yes. This poor, poor, poor wizard um, has just hit the, the surface of the water and <clears throat> kind of disappeared under the surface. Um, Re-emerges, <gasps> like struggling for breath. Um, when... They're dragged back under the surface for a moment and uh, fails a con save and takes 11 damage um, as the waters begin to consume, like tear. I think I think he's dead, Dan. How about that? Paul, no, no, he might survive. Uh, <laughs> okay. He might have Paul's a future. Might, might have a future. Uh, but uh, tries to swim back to the surface He's got um, kids and a pension. Yeah! Um, manages, yeah, to come, uh, pull himself to the surface slightly less soul heavy than they were a moment ago. Um, but they're still in the water. Uh, next up, Balthazar. Uh, can I. There's a lock on this cage, right? Correct. Can I green flame blade shillady it? Uh, roll to hit. If you hit, you'll smash it off. Sweet. Uh, actions. Quarter staff? Uh, yeah. normal? Alright. Yeah, only these AC 10. Cool. So you, with the base of your staff, you hit the lock and <clears throat> smash it off. Uh, and the the commoner looks at him and, thank you! He, he shouts and he kind of ducks Wait. out and, oh, 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 and he Remember, runs. we're the Warhounds! <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, and he runs off. And I'll move on to here. Okay. And that shall be my turn. Drool. I think what Joel's going to do is go up behind this lady mm -hmm. and start barking at her to get a move on. Uh, she absolutely agrees and <laughs> ah! <laughs> she disappears as well. Um, and you you just hear, <laughs> you hear from the room as she kind of runs into it, are these goodies or baddies? Uh, as that happens, uh, Zumbo, as you begin, as you look up the stairs, you can't help 
but have your eyes turn to the skies overhead and you would reckon these uh, these spirits, these shadows are approximately 18 seconds away. What do you do? I'll be less. Um, I think he's just he's focused on getting to Aiden at the minute. So mm-hmm. um, So oh, Zumbo, fine. as you make it up onto the captain's deck, um, you see a like Aiden turns to look at you, and well, sorry, Aiden has turned to look at you. I should say, and he's adopted this firm, commanding stance because at his feet. Oh is a no. brown-haired halfling girl who's currently gagged and tied. And Aiden looks to you with his sword out, and he holds the sword up. He interrupts your turn to say, One step forward, and I'll gut her like a fish. Mm, awkward. Mm. Okay. Um, I'll say... You, uh... You tried to kill us once, remember that? Well, you try to kill Zumbo Marifat, you better finish the job. Looks like you got yourself another chance. Why don't you leave that girl alone and... We settle this. Roll me an intimidation. Okay. I don't think... That... I quite like that both Zumbo and Daisy are halflings. Okay. Uh, saving the dame thing here. Oh, uh, okay. So, Aiden looks to you, and like a twinkle, gl- cr- kind of crosses his eyes. Um, he doesn't let go of the halfling woman. Um, I'm just trying to think if you'd have an idea who she is. You, su- given given the descriptions you've had, you would hazard a guess that the halfling woman in Aiden's grip is in fact. Daisy Talbot. He doesn't let go of her, but he does point the sword away from her and towards you. Um, and he smiles and I've never been one to pass up a challenge. Okay. So in that case, I'll use that I'll use that distraction to dash towards him. Mm-hmm. And yeah, quickly engage him before we can point the sword back at Daisy. Okay. Um, and I'll sort of gesture into her to get the hell out of the way. Sure. Um, and this this halfling woman looks at you co- confused and shocked, uh, a little bit scared. And <laughs> she says to her, her gag. So 22 to hit. Bless. That's a hit. Okay. Uh, so 12 total damage. 12 total. Uh, okay, and yeah, you, so you leap at Aiden and kind of skew at him and he yeah, kind of parries the, the blow away but it still kind of slides across his side um, yeah. and he you have to be careful because yeah, the rap here goes quite well it goes close to Daisy's head but you're in control enough that you you know it wouldn't have hit yeah no, um, normally I'd normally I'd sort of disengage at this point but I want to stay close to him to keep his attention on me sure 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 so um, in which out. case yeah he recalls and little shit he says uh, anything else on both Okay, uh, Aiden. So after Katya, yeah, Aiden turns around to you and grr, he's got the sword in one hand. He's got Daisy in the other. He looks to you and draws his sword arm back. Um, you see magic begin to glow around the blade, and then, with a speed you're not used to seeing, uh. Someone casting, it's he's taking extra three damage, by the way. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. That's sneak attack. Sure, there is. Uh, he lunges at you with a magically enchanted attack, 18 to hit. Uh, 18 hits. Uh, okay, and you take five damage as okay. he slashes you uh, with his blade. Um, and he, like, as he does that, he kind of steps away a little bit kind of putting daisy swings daisy in between you and him um and like he's got this slightly crazed look on his face look around you 
This is my lady's domain. How do you even think you have a chance to stop us? Uh, he says. Uh, <laughs> boom. Uh, and as he says that, the magic you enchanted on him explodes. As he rocks. Um, Katya, what do you do? Uh, so I can see Zumbo's engaged with Aiden. Uh, Catch is going to climb up onto the um, cage to get a better view straight across it at him. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to gather as much as her psychic ability as she can uh, and aim it straight for Aiden and fire off a psychic glance. Okay. Nice. Fourth level. Ooh. Oh. Fancy. Uh, Aiden is... What's the range of that? 120 feet. Okay, so... Aiden feels like a, a ripple of energy. Um, and as you... As this lance kind of leaves... Did you... Pff, fire, yeah, fire this kind of white light towards him. Uh, intelligence save, A. Eh? Oops. Might be a wizard. Yeah, I figured, but it's, it's still half damage. Good spell, though. Ah, oh, yeah! So, yeah, the lance oh, kind of strikes uh, strikes Aiden. Uh, For 20 psychic damage. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he is incapacitated until my next turn. Okay. Okay. As the lance streaks, psychic lance streaks across the ship and strikes uh, Aiden, um... Katya, your attention is diverted. You're distracted by the screams of the Dark Moon Master, who's currently being held by the back of the head um, by the hulking monstrosity chained to the mast. Um, and you watch as this black armored Balthazar thing, um, with one palm open, you see this hole that's appeared in its palm and is right, is close to the master's face. Um, and you watch as a worm like creature emerges from the hole in the palm. Oh, Dan. And the master, no, 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 no! And you watch as this creep, this tadpole leaps this worm-like creature leaps from implacable's open palm onto the mask of the master and you watch as this thing kind of chews at the eye the, the kind of lenses of the mask before stopping going up under the mask and you hear the master <laughs> and then goes limp uh, i didn't need the nightmares dan um, and at that point, Implacable then releases uh, the Master, and the Master hits the deck uh, prone. Uh, cool. He's out there running. Uh, Slate. What is the word I'm looking for, but sure. Slate is just watching everything that's just happened and, like, brings her head up, <laughs> to, uh, brings her hand up to their head. Um, looks around, uh, seeing here I'm ding, kind of shooting off upstairs, uh, seeing Aiden uh, and Zumbo kind of sprawling. Uh, they will fly over to join you, Balthazar, and wham! Nice. Smashes a lock off with a with a flail uh, with one, and the second attack, wham! Smashes off the one, uh, the prison you're in, and the two commas. Ah! Like, because this floating plate armored elemental just floats up to them. But as the gates swing open, they then disappear and run off. Remember, we're the Warhounds. Here I am. What do you do? I would. And I might need some help here because I have not done this before. Mm -hmm. I would like to use the badge. Uh, sorry, the, the brooch kind of thing that I got from my grandmother. Yeah. Uh -huh. And summon, summon battle shag. Ooh, nice. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you reach for the roaring horn uh, amulet around your neck, and as you focus and sort of like take a, a leap of faith, 
Um, you feel you land on the back of a winged, a white feathered winged mythical creature. This griffin materializes um, from like the, a, a beam of light from the ground from under you. Um, and as you land on its back, it lets out a <laughs> And are you making a beeline for Mr. Elberth? If that's the last name of uh, Aiden, then yes. Then yes. Okay, then but you. I have to say, I am making my way towards him, but he is not what I'm trying to catch. Okay. Uh, in which case, um, Zumbo, you watch as Hiram bursts uh, over the, the railings of the captain's deck astride this gleaming white griffin um, like Argentus like proudly uh, held aloft um, behind him and here I am, you see like Aiden and Zumbo both uh, look up to you as does this gagged halfling woman at Aiden's feet um, Aiden looks a bit kind of woozy and delirious uh, but as you emerge and see the Zumbo and Aiden fighting, what do you do? So I would like to dive for Daisy. Okay. Uh, so are you instructing uh, Buttershark to like grapple Daisy? To bite? Well, can, can, they, can they do that? I thought I would just lean lean down and just grab her, but if, if the griffin yeah, can do it, it would got, be better. Uh, got some claws, so... Uh, Fuck yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, in which case, yeah, Zumbo, as this griffin kind of bursts over, um, you see one of its claws reaching out, and Aiden, who's kind of woozy from the psychic glance that Katty just sent screaming across the deck, um, doesn't kind of react in time, and this claw wraps around the small halfling girl, and with a, um, the halfling is snatched away from Aiden, um, and. Here I am you and the Griffin kind of soar past with Daisy in hand. Um, and Aiden kind of uh, uh, like a bit a bit delirious kind of as this woman is wrenched from his grip. Um, anything else here, No, I think I, I think I just gotta shoot back. Shoot shout back. Give him hell, zombie. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up, um, Emily. Is Emily just going to carry on unlocking? Yep, Emily is just unlocking everyone. Uh, cool, cool, cool. She can. So she yeah, uses the, the key on another cage and this older woman. Oh, th thank you, young lady. Ah. No she, time for that. Go, go, go. As she rushes off. Um, the war wizard. Ah! Ah! <laughs> splop, splop, splop. Um, splashes around in the sea trying to get out. Uh, the sea, however, has other plans, but not today. Uh, so they, he takes three damage. His hit points are dropped by three. Um, and the wizard attempts to swim to the surface again and does. Uh, Balthazar, you hear a splash, splash, splop. And this wizard uh, kind of pulls himself back onto the deck, dripping wet with this kind of black Icarus water. Um, kind of hanging heavy on his clothes. Uh, speaking of which, Balthazar, what do you do? Hey, go back down. I'm just gonna kick him. Sparta him. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Okay, yeah, roll to hit. You can do the shove. Um, I work 16. Okay, so, yeah. so using the shove, um, this wizard kind of gets up and looks to you and says... Like, looks to you for a moment and implacable. And then with there's a your heavy boot boom, hits him square in the sternum and the guy ah, is knocked back into the sea. Sploop! <laughs> and back in he goes. That's it. Uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, drool. Uh, I don't know what there is much to do for drool. Not a lot. I think Drew will head back to the door and hold his action. Okie dokie. Uh, and Balthazar. Is anybody out there? Uh, Zumbo. Um, you can see 
uh, Zumbo, and more specifically, more importantly, Hiram, you can see this tide of shadowy shapes within, almost within, like within a hundred feet of you. Yeah. So seeing that, Zumbo will yell up to Hiram. Hiram, get, get everyone back to the portal. We're leaving. Okay, okay. I'll meet you there, and then I'm gonna try and stab Aiden again while he's distracted by the Griffin. Yeah, uh-huh. so he's incapacitated, so I believe that's advantage. Oh, he's incapacitated, is he? Uh, yes. Oh, of course, because <laughs> of the um, stuck at thing. thing. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, in that case, I'll definitely jab, jab. Uh, that's it. Okay. For 10 uh, damage. And then sneak attack as well. Okay, so 14 damage in total. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you strike at Aiden and he ah, kind of falls to one knee um, as you rake him across the, the shin. Yeah. Um, and I will summon a tentacle with my bonus action. Mm-hmm. Oh, do I want to do that? Oh my god, just dash. I want to kill him, but I feel like we need to get out of here. Sure. So in- incapacitated actually just um, can't take attack or reactions. Okay. That does make a difference, but yeah. Mm. I don't know whether to just stay and kill this guy. He could have loads of HP, though. Uh, he doesn't look... He doesn't look great, but... Yeah, you are... I can't help but stress... Yeah, we're, we're, we're well. on the clock, aren't we? And I think we're going to burn this place down on our way out anyway, so Zumo's going to start legging it towards the stairs. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so, yeah, as you as you kind of make a break for it, um, Aiden kind of uh, goes to swing for you, but... You know, misses futilely. Yeah. Um, and I'll bonus action dash, I guess. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay, get to there. Okay. Um, Katja is. Uh, I think what Katja's going to do is now head towards the door and make sure that people are slowly making their way through it. So, usher, ushering people through. So one thing I will say, Catcher, is where you're stood on top of uh, kind of one of these cages, um, you can see the prone form of the Dark Moon Master that, by the looks of it, has just been had some sort of tadpole-like creature implanted somewhere behind the mask, um, and this monstrous kind of Balthazar mockery hangs, looking looking around, and kind of stops to look at you. The orb in its torso looks almost identical to the pool you saw on the Nautilid. Unfortunately, Zumba has all my alchemist fire, so... Oh, no! Oh, yeah, sorry. That's all right. Um, no, as I said, Katja's going to help and usher people through the door. Sure, okay. Cool, so Katja, as you move in to help everyone out, um, you hear <laughs> this wombat who's kind of curled up on a like scrunched up on one of the coffins. Oh, you're alive! He says um, as you kind of burst back in and you begin hurrying the the commoners out. Okay. Uh, Aiden uh, is incapacitated, so he just kind of. Uh, oh, he's, like, he's, he's now back to normal. He's now back to normal. Okay, so he kind of gets up, uh, looks around, sees you here, Ammon, uh, and tries to. Right down your griffin. Uh, that sounds uh, great. So, uh, your. So, Buttershaw kind of screeches as a number of missiles strike into its flank, and <laughs> like black missiles strike into its flank and, and detonate um, across its uh, across its hide. Um, but you manage to kind of roll out the way, and the, the, the griffin's hurt, but still working. And Aiden kind of. Snarls. Um, yeah, just kind of looks looks around, not entirely sure what to do. Uh, Project Implacable hangs and looks menacing. The Dark Moon Master uh, is not long for this world. Uh, Slate, seeing the shadows overhead, um, gestures frantically at you, Balthazar, uh, and begins to make a break for it. Uh, okay. 
Uh, and Katya, you see this kind of armoured air element kind of floating in behind you uh, with a flail flailing wildly behind it. Um, here I am. Um, uh, your uh, yeah, butter strike has a fly of 80. So, Oh, amazing. So I think you're going to go pick up Emily. Okay, sure. Uh, right, in which case, uh, I mean, at this point, are you all just GTFOing? Yes. Yes. Yeah, oh, what, uh, what was it that Katya noticed that looked flammable? The deli of Implacable. Okay, so I might try and, as I run to, into the door, I might try and toss one in, into that. Sure. Um, uh, uh, Balthazar will ask for him to d drop off a daisy. As you watch as Hiram on this white griffin kind of flies around, um, the griffin drops this kind of brown-haired halfling. Uh, next to you, Balthazar. Um, and as she kind of, because she's got her, her wrists tied together, uh, she's gagged. She kind of boom, catch her. Oh, you catch her. In yeah. which case, as you as you catch her, this kind of half thing's got her face scrunched up, and like she opens them, sees her reflection in your helmet, and she kind of screams in panic. Daisy, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> It's me, Balthazar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, while that happens, uh, the here you manage to swoop low and you uh, you scoop up Emily um, in the Griffin's claws. Yeah, actually, no. Um, we land next to her. I okay. jump on the Griffin and yeah, start running towards the the door. Yeah, as you land alongside uh, Emily and the the Griffin, and you begin running. Um, the war wizard disappears under the waters. Uh, his soul consumed. Uh, Balthazar, you are currently holding what appears to be your wife. Uh, I will make a break for it, please. Okay. Um, same direction as everyone else? Yeah. Okay. Are you dashing? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, as you're... Well, in which case, as you're dashing... Um, there is a point where you, as you're going, you can't help but look at this con construct that's hanging up and it looks at you, like it stares at you as you go past. Um, is there anything you wish to do with it or are you just carrying on? Give it the finger, move, carry on. Sounds good. Uh, in which case, uh, you disappear through the door uh, and you see kind of cat yes hurdling hurting all the, the remaining commoners. Zumbo, as you're going past, uh, Katya has kind of gestured to you, like f frantically gestured to you uh, to remind you you've got the alchemist fire. Um, as the shadows begin descending on the ship, what are, are you using them? Yeah, so as I run past uh, Project Implacable, uh, probably just after Balthazar's run past, I go, yeah, I prefer our version. And chuck one alchemist fire at it. As you throw the the vial at uh, Implacable uh, up top, um, you watch as the vial smashes across its fr its torso, and the fire spreads out and s clings to its armor. Um, but you see some of it seep down onto the glass glassy orb in its torso, um, and you don't get a chance to watch it. But the last thing you hear is the sound of glass cracking. Um, okay. And then he's going to leg it downstairs. And then as we're running to the portal, um, through the rooms with the cages, he's going to be throwing the others into places where he thinks they'll start the biggest fires. Okay. And then he's, he's just keeping legging. He's basically throwing them over his shoulders. <laughs> sure. Uh, in which case, you hear the sounds of smashing glass every, as you as you throw these kind of vials of alchemist fire. Um, the fires begin to catch and zumbo horrifyingly as you go and you see these fires kind of creeping into the cells with these um, unfortunate mutated uh, commoners. You don't hear any cries of pain. Uh, you... Hiram, as you kind of make it off well, as you and Emily kind of make it towards the the door, you can see this swarm of shadows begin to descend on the ship. Uh, they begin to 
like move forward and you all uh as you kind of pile down the stairs uh, into the, the into the bowels of the ship and you make it through the corridors um you see you run past all of the the cells with um the tr mutated transformed commoners who just kind of look at you blankly there are gasps and panicked um noises from the, the prisoners you've freed as you uh, as you pass these cells um, and before long you find yourselves back in the uh the bowels of the ship in front of the portal uh as you see these shadows kind of beginning to push their way through the the timbers of the ship and you step through the portal to relative safety we will call it there Woo. Right. Oh, well played, everybody. It's great. Yeah. Congratulations, everyone, on completing session 33. And saving <laughs> Daisy Talbot. And saving Daisy Talbot. Yes. Well done, us. Uh, yes. So, uh, <laughs> that is that's the end of that. Um, yeah, congratulations everyone for making it through. Uh, thank you very much, all of you lot, for playing. Uh, thank you lot very much for watching. Um, if you liked what we do here, then uh, leave a like and leave a comment, and that'd be great because we will s like you back in our hearts. Um, That's true. Yeah. Yeah. If you like what we what we're doing there's also loads of other videos uh, and if you really like what we're doing um, then you should click on the subscribe button uh, and even perhaps clicking the bell notification bell to get notifications for when we upload new stuff uh, we are now a hundred percent on the final straights uh, so we'll see where we go from here but until next time take care everyone see ya take care. Bye. 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 bye 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 Ever the heroes, the Warhounds have managed to succeed in their mission to locate and rescue the Suzalan citizens captured by Aidan Elberth and the rest of the mysterious Project Implacable. As they return to the material plane, what lies in store for them next? Is this the end of Project Implacable? What saw Katya during her mind warp? How deep does the alliance between the Sharans and the Mind Flayers go? Join us next time to find out. Thank you again for your support and for watching until the end of the video. We've been blown away by the surge in subscribers recently, so we hope you're all enjoying what we have to offer. If you like this episode, leave us a like and a comment down below. You can catch another video by clicking right here, and it'd be great if you subscribe to the channel here, as well as hitting the bell icon for notifications. So, thank you all again, and as always, stay safe. And may the realms endure.